students welcome to lecture series of automobile engines in today's session we will discuss about what is injector and what is nozzle and what are the different types of nozzles fine so let's start our video once again welcome students so in previous sessions we have seen that there are different types of engines that uh, there are different types of injection systems that we are using in engine fine so basically we have seen classification that uh, there are mean two types one is air injection second is solid injection thereafter it has two sub types in solid injection one is mechanical and second one is electronic injection fine and in mechanical we have seen that there are mean three systems one was crdi second one was individual pump system and third one was distributor system fine so let's start our video so in previous session you have seen that there is a crdi because it is operating in a diesel engine and it is a diesel injection system fine thereafter we have seen that about the individual pump system and thereafter we have seen about the distributor system which is a combination of crdi and individual pump today we will discuss one more system that is electronic injection now why this system is very famous uh, right now because it is actually uh, measuring the fuel and it is actually uh, giving us accurate fuel measurement by means of electronic systems fine so what is its actual working so it uses the electronic sensors for precise metering of fuel that means measurement of fuel is done electronically not mechanically fine so the sensor feeds the data to the electronic control unit it is called ecu fine that ecu was also used in mpfi system right so the sensor feeds the data to the electric electronic control unit which determines the amount of fuel to be injected depending upon the engine speed and the throttle position so it is a main criteria which we need to satisfy that it should be changed depending on the speed and throttle position fine so it, uh, it is a main purpose of this ecu that it will sense a requirement of engine that means at which speed it is operating and what is the position of throttle that means how much fuel is required depending on that it will Uh, sense the data and it will actuate our injector to fall in it. So you can see here in also figure that there is one injector. In injector there are different parts like O-ring, fuel filter. Thereafter in injector there is electronic electrical connector. Thereafter electromagnetic coil also. There can be solenoid also. Fine. Thereafter one magnet is there, one spring is there, one valve is there. Now if you see clearly what is happening right now in this system you can see this blue plunger or blue a uh, valve pin it you need a pin it is actually moving up and down fine so whenever we are uh, giving electrical signal or you can say electronic signal this plunger is actually pushed upside so what is happening in surrounding of the plunger there is fuel fine so whenever we are giving electronic signal the pin the needle pin or plunger pin it will be lifted and due to that liftment what will be happen that fuel which is around it it will go inside the engine from the nozzle fine so you can see here that spray of uh, fuel inside it so what are the main uh, advantages of this because it will reduce a uh, fuel consumption and give it better mileage because now the fuel is actually measured electronically it is not operated mechanically so there will be no losses of fuel fine so it will reduce a fuel consumption also and it will also give us better mileage so right now in almost all the vehicles as per BS6 that is RS106 version there is a compulsion of FI that is fuel injection system and in that case we are using this electronic injection also fine it is little bit costly but it gives us better mileage so that's good thereafter it also reduces exhaust emission now how this occurs because we are measuring the fuel by means of electronics fine so the fuel is actually going is only which is required and whatever fuel is required is going inside so now the combustion will be normal fine there is no excessive fuel or there is no less fuel the perfect amount of fuel is always there so the combustion will always like normal combustion there is no knocking and detonation problems in most of the cases so there is a less emission also so the exhaust emission will also reduce because it will not generate any harmful particles in a exhaust thereafter it will also improve engine performance and engine power because at given speed we are injecting fuel as per requirement so it will also increase the power of the total total power of the engine and thereafter it prevents the overheating of engine during the braking and idling condition because 
now it is all operated electronically so what is happening whenever we are braking or whenever we are idling the speed will be reduced now the speed it is reduced and it is directly sensed by ecm now the control of ecm is much faster than mechanical systems fine so we are getting simultaneous control of fuel injection with our speed and it will be faster than mechanical system fine so in this case what is happening it will also prevent the overheating of engine during the braking and idling condition of the engine so that's it in a electronic injection system you can also see this figure for reference fine now what is fuel injector that was our main uh, part in this session so what is fuel injector so it is a device which actually inject the fuel inside a combustion chamber fine so what is fuel injector so it is having different types of assemblies in it so there are different parts or different components inside it so we can say fuel injector is not a single part it is actually assembly fine so what are the different parts first there is nozzle and second one there is needle valve also fine so what is that if it is nozzle or needle valve there is one hole inside which the nozzle or needle valve is kept fine now what is happening this hole is actually surrounded by the fuel but the needle which is inside it it will stop the fuel to go outside so whenever it is lifted that surrounding fuel will go from the nozzle and it will go inside the combustion chamber so which are different parts first is nozzle second is compression ring third one is nozzle that is uh, nozzle itself then after injector board so these are the main four parts first is needle valve second a compression ring third one that is nozzle body and fourth one that is injector board fine right? so these are main four parts which is actually giving us a uh, which is actually constructing the injector fine right? now in this figure you can see it is a mechanical injector fine right? so what is happening right now uh, let me show you by, uh, simply what is happening right now so here you can see it is injector body fine right? inside which we have kept this nozzle valve or you can say needle valve now this one is nozzle body you can see this this one is nozzle body and this part let me zoom it so this part is actually our nozzle fine what is happening from this portion the fuel will come from the fuel pump fine or from the distributor now this fuel will go inside from this line towards the nozzle and here it will stop because there is needle valve inside it fine so what is happening whenever we need fuel injection this pressurized fuel will come and it will build pressure in this line now what is happening whenever the excessive pressure will be there it will lift this nozzle valve and all the fuel which is here will be now spread out from this hole towards the engine so it is a main working of fuel injector let me quickly read you how it works so it is a fuel line it is our nozzle valve fine so what is happening in nozzle valve the fuel is coming from this way and it will exert the pressure on this needle valve fine now this needle valve is actually supported by the spring you can see the spring is here fine so this spring is actually supported the spring supports this needle valve now what is happening whenever the fuel is going inside this it will actually exert the pressure against this spring and whenever this fuel pressure will be higher than that spring force what will be happen this needle valve will be lifted on upside fine so it will be lifted upside and due to that the hole which is inside it it will be open and our injection will takes place fine so it is our main fuel injector which is right now we are uh, using in many vehicles so it is a fuel injector fine now in fuel injector there is a nozzle also so what is the main function of nozzle or what it should fill fuel if it is a best nozzle fine so first one that is distribution and second one that is uh, atomization these are the main two uh, functions of any nozzle so what is atomization atomization means uh, dividing the fuel particles in small atoms or you can say small particles fine it is atomization form and second is distribution of fuel now why this distribution because nozzle must be designed in such a way that when, uh, wherever there is air inside the combustion chamber after compression the uh, fuel should not go only in the center it should go everywhere wherever the air is there fine so it should also receive the fuel amount in equal amount in whole combustion chamber not only at one point fine so these are main two uh, functions of nozzle first is atomization second is distribution of the fuel fine 
and what are the different factors which affect the fuel uh, uh, distributions so first one is injection pressure that you all know now how injection pressure there can be dispersion and penetration also fine there after density of air in the cylinder so it resistance to the movement there after physical properties of the fuel so fuel can be of different type of the diesel fine so depending on the cta number it must be regulated so its self ignition temperature its vapor pressure its viscosity etc so these are the physical properties which actually affect on the fuel distribution also so keeping all this in mind we will design the nozzle for the distribution of the fuel now there is also a third function that is prevention of impingement on the walls or decomposition that means fuel should not retain inside the nozzle right and fourth one is a mixing so in the case of non regulated type of combustion chamber mixing of the fuel must be proper with air so it can directly mix it with so it will reduce the ignition delay also right so these are main four functions of any nozzle